What is up everybody, Paul Rostek, teacher, channeler of healing, and I thought I was done for the day, but I just had to get out this energy update because of what I am experiencing other people experiencing. And it's something that I haven't seen in a really long time. There is this massive purge that is happening that is connected to this Mercury retrograde. I'm gonna keep this kind of short. Um, I wanted to put this video out over the past three days, but I was waiting for that click to actually happen. Well, the penny has dropped and I see what's going on now. So whenever there's a massive purge, there's a lot of light coming in. If you check out the Schumann resonance, I'm not going to make this a Schumann resonance video, but if you look at the Schumann resonance, I'll just give you guys an idea. It looks like it does every other time. Everything's going nuts. Um, let me show you. I mean, there's some there's some weird shit going on in this one. There's some blackout time after it, so we'll see what we'll see what it shows tomorrow. But all the white and red is just massive light purging okay so the, the the red is the is uh it just shows that the density being released within now this 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 the penny dropped about this video before the whole sh me checking out the schumann thing which there's some crisscross weird things that's going on in here that's like see right there how it's diagonal it's like diagonal lines in there I'll have to look at that intuitively a bit more, but this there's massive anger going on. There's massive outbursts, and Mercury retrograde tends to bring things up from the past. But what's different about this? Well, the moon is closest to the Earth. It's one of those times that it's actually closest to the Earth. Uh, it's not an actual super moon or anything like that, but it's something that is in conjunction with the Mercury retrograde. Um, we don't even have to talk about astrology except that what is happening is, well, it, it, it's actually very relevant. So Mercury retrograde, right? You have Mercury that passes through different stages of the zodiac, okay? Key points. So as it's passing, Mercury retrograde, right? When it retrogrades, it comes, it passes it comes to a stop what seems to be from the earth's perspective and then it seems to go back on its orbit a little bit and then it goes back and catches up and then continues on so that's what a retrograde is mercury is constantly orbiting like this there is no such thing as it stopping and going backwards but from earth's perspective the way the orbit is because it's more oblong too instead of just round it looks like it gets to a point to where it stops goes back and it goes forward again what where it happens to be stopping and going forward again is very important because it's going i'll do it from this side so it's going past a key point right here that key point is bringing out anger and issues from the past, hurt from the past. Well, it's stopping. It's going past this point again. Boom, again. And then it retrogrades, and then it up, oh, hits that key spot again. And then it, it's to move on. Understanding that the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde is two weeks before, two weeks after the actual retrograde. The retrograde is what, five, six weeks itself, uh, or total, the whole caboodle. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you to explain the, how it's magnified times three. So what we're experiencing is drawing out this deep anger, irritability, and incredible miscommunication okay so this is one of the for what i am experiencing and from what i am experiencing as a channeler to have to you know with my one-on-one -on -one sessions and uh with clients and my three-day remote healings is 
and I said it again today, and I'll, I've been saying it for years, I have this really awesome perspective because I, you know, being the channeler of healing and all that, and I have my sessions with people around the world, I can see how people in one week can all come to me and they're all experiencing the same exact thing. And these, these are people that, excuse me, aren't even clients. So I get this awesome perspective of seeing what happens with light workers, empaths, people that embody light uh, are going through at the same time. So it's so cool because I can line that up to what I'm picking up on intuitively. I can line that up with astrology and I can line it up with facts. I'm seeing people around the world coming at me within days to a week and they're all experiencing this incredible um, anger outburst or whatever the situation may be that correlates to whatever time experiences astrology that we're going through. So I want everybody to understand there are things that you are experiencing that has to be felt. I've said this in videos a long time ago that there are things that can be purged a lot easier than others. And there are other things that have to be felt through. In other words, suppressed anger, suppressed trauma, or post-traumatic stress, resentments, things that are unresolved. Mer Mercury retrograde brings up unresolved experiences, right? With the super, or with this moon that's the closest that, it's, that it's, it can be to the planet, we're magnifying this, okay? And there's other aspects that's going on that is magnifying this. There's something really, really big that's going on right now that it's almost like nobody seems to be putting their finger on it yet because it's that big. And this is a level of ascension, a level of purging. There's something big going on. And the Schumann residence looked like that last week. And we have a big part of that that's blacked out right now, which means the, the satellites are overwhelmed. So that means tomorrow we might see what continues on after that. I'm going to look at the Schumann resonance um, later, if not tomorrow. And... Um, intuitively read the Schumann resonance, which is so friggin cool because I just look at it as an intuitive and I read what's going on and I also match it to what I'm channeling, what also I pick up on and what is connected or how this correlates with astrology. So I'm connecting everything together, all the puzzle pieces to give you guys the answer. So this is a thing that has to be felt. It usually comes out through the chest, neck and face. And it, there's a lot of heart chakra, heart center pain that's going on. Understand, we're getting through deep core wounds. So this is stuff that you may not realize is still tucked way away inside you, like carbon, like charcoal in your cells, in your experience that's coming up to be cleared, to be surfaced, to be skimmed off the top. There's certain things that can be cleared and there's certain things, you know, through channeling and this and that, but some things have to be cleared it by feeling it through, I call it. So allow yourself to feel the feelings, allow yourself to yell, allow yourself to vent, to scream, obviously not hurting anybody um, or yourself, but letting you yourself feel that, not try to just clear it away, clear it away, clear it away, right? But we can bring in healing as well. So I just want all of you to understand, thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing, um, hitting the thumbs up, letting me know what you are, are all going through because this is huge right now. And I wanted to put this out there to um, offer some support right? That knowledge is power. Knowledge is truth. Not knowledge is light. Light is knowledge, information that I'm passing through you, that this is extremely difficult. I don't remember the last time we've seen uh, anything quite like this. Okay. It has happened, but this is super intense. Okay. So this is the, this is the deepest layers of healing um, that a lot of you have ever experienced before and with the deepest layers these are things that you must feel and when you feel it it's fire and with that fire comes burning and through the the collapsing 
of the tower, uh, in the fire, comes the phoenix rising out of the ashes. Okay? Let yourself feel. You've tucked it away long enough. You can't keep sweeping this under the rug. You have to let this come out of you. You are in love. In the, in the light of love, in the light of truth, okay? If anybody needs help, one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, either phone call, cell phone, or messenger phone um, to help clear this, this surfaced energy, uh, also to bring in healing and to talk you through of what you're going through. I can connect to your higher self, universal oneness, guides, and give you a much different angle of what you're going through so I can I can give you a lot more clarity that you might be able to see within your forest right and if you enjoy the three-day remote healings um, I will still do that for you but right now um, the priority or not the priority but the you know the one-on-ones uh, phone sessions seem to be where the energy is shifting right now um, so do not go to my website. If you do, that's fine because it's still up, but I'm going to redo the whole website. So anybody that wants a one-on-one -on -one session or a three-day remote healing, um, email me or message me on Messenger, and we will get you hooked up. Blessings. Be gentle with yourself. And try to be gentle with the people that you're flipping out on. All right? Try to, try to see, track it back, see where it's coming from. See what you're going through, right? See... And, and love yourself. Do it lovingly and gently and keep pursuing on because this energy can keep you feeling like you can't function in the outside world, but you can. Keep moving forward. Motion, movement, work can be the best thing for us at this time. Okay, blessings to everybody. Let it be done. And so it is done.